Welcome to our review on changing ideas on the universe. So one thing that we've learned throughout obviously our courses in science is that ideas in science don't stay the same. So when someone has an idea then that might be around for a while and then eventually it gets replaced by something else. And the ideas about the universe are no different. So what we find is that the reason that these ideas will change is down to the fact that new evidence has come to light and this could be as a result of technological advances. So if we go back to 400 BC to a guy called Aristotle, then his theory was that the Earth was the centre of the universe. So he was one of these ancient Greeks who used to sit around and obviously all ancient Greeks had these very long beards, so they'd sit around in their togas stroking their beards and discussing what they thought, and his was that the Earth was the centre of the universe. If we then jump forward 500 years to a time of 100 AD and a guy called Ptolemy. Now, he also believed that the Earth was at the centre here. So he had this Earth-centred model and he had two key ideas. Firstly, the Earth was the centre of the universe because obviously Earth is the most important thing, let's face it, because we're on it. And secondly, that the universe was surrounded by a background of fixed, unchanging stars. So his idea was kind of like the Earth was the centre of everything and then we just had almost like a painting surrounding us with these stars painted on it. If we now do a big jump in time to 1543 AD and to a guy called Copernicus. Now what Copernicus actually did that was slightly different from his predecessors was he used precise measurements of the planets to build models describing their motion. Now, he hit a problem here, because obviously up until this point, everyone said that the Earth was the centre of this universe. But when he tried to do that, he couldn't explain the paths of all these planets. The only way he could explain it was if the Sun was at the centre of the universe. So he proposed this Sun-centred model. However, he didn't actually publish these ideas until the year of his death, because he was going against what had been believed for a very long time. If we jump a little bit further ahead to Galileo in 1609 AD, then what he actually did was he developed the telescope with a very powerful magnification. He didn't create the telescope, but he developed one with a very powerful magnification here. And this actually allowed him to see things that had previously been far too small to be observed from Earth. And one thing that he observed were the moons that orbited around Jupiter. So as a result of that, he had evidence that not everything orbits the Earth. So he also was able to show that the stars changed as he observed the supernova. So those ideas going back to Ptolemy where he said that we had this unchanged background of stars was proved wrong because we saw a supernova and it was clearly changing. This idea that the Earth was at the centre was proved wrong because the moons were orbiting around Jupiter and not the Earth. The last bit of evidence comes from Newton in 1687 AD and he then came up with his theory of gravity, which confirmed this sun-centred solar system. So when we go back and think about these scientists, so if we think about Galileo and Copernicus, then they had these controversial ideas. And as with all ideas that are viewed as controversial, it comes back to the problem of religion and the church. Their ideas went against the church. And when we go back, obviously, to the times that they're around, so the 1500s and 1600s, then speaking out against the church's ideas was considered blasphemy. And that was a very serious crime at the time. So what we found was obviously Copernicus didn't actually publish his work until the year of his death because of this. And other scientists were scared to support these new ideas, despite the evidence, because they were going against these church beliefs. So as a result of that, it actually took a long time for that sun-centred model to be widely accepted. So what we do find is that quite often in science, there is this link between advances being held back in science and religious ideas being the cause of that. 